Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, Pacific Northwest Weather Watch. Today is September 22nd. Right now we are looking at the infrared satellite imagery here. You can see that upper level O we've been talking about for several days now, spinning across western Montana and Idaho. This is eventually going to push off to the northeast, but it is bringing some pretty good precipitation amounts to some of this area. We'll check that out coming up. Strong onshore flow underway for the western portions, kicking that wildfire smoke out of the region here. But Stick with me here because we're going to start to turn winds a little bit back offshore as we go through the weekend here again today, possibly reintroducing some smoke, especially in through western Washington, proximity to that Bolt Creek fire here as we go through the weekend. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news there. But this week's system is going to be sliding by Friday. Not much precipitation for western Washington, Oregon. Maybe a little bit more will get wrung out in the higher terrain here. Most of that precip is going to be Vancouver Island northward, but we're going to rebound rapidly in the wake of that system. And again, that's why we're going to turn this flow a little bit back offshore and possibly bring that smoke back into the region as we warm up this week and into early next week. Now taking a look here, visible satellite imagery here, upper level low, nice shot of that spinning over the Idaho Panhandle, western Montana. You can see the marine layer pushed all the way up to the Cascades here, strong onshore flow, helping to clean out the atmosphere here west of the Cascades. But in turn, we're starting to shunt that forest fire smoke on downstream here into eastern Washington. So if you guys are getting smoke out here in eastern Washington, you know where that's coming from. Bolt Creek fire, uh, White River fire, etc. out there. Now, taking a look here, elevated fire risk does exist for the east slopes of the Cascades as these west winds are going to be roaring through the Cascades today. You saw an upper level low here kind of creating that pressure gradient, bringing these winds and this onshore flow through the Cascades there. So heads up, we still have some fire danger going on across the region. You can see that excessive rainfall outlook does include for a slight risk here across Montana, Idaho Panhandle, marginal exists off into Mon uh, Washington and Oregon there as well. Uh, Missoula, Montana with a nice graphic out there. Cold, wet, back country, snow level 7,000 feet. Fog potential Friday morning. Watch out for the standing water, etc. Hopefully no flooding concerns come of all this rainfall as well. Now looking at Seattle, yesterday 77, 7 degrees above average here. And we're going to cool down back towards average today. I wanted to point this out, though, for Monday the 26th. Looks like it might be the warmest day here in this little warm wave coming up here this weekend on into early next week. 78, that, the forecast high is around 79 or 80. So we may pick off this low-hanging fruit here on this record high. We've just never hit 80 degrees here on this day. It's the only day in September we have not at least hit 80 degrees in Seattle. So we may fix that this year. We'll see how that goes coming up here. Now, taking a look at eight meters above the ground, the HER high resolution, you can see as we get this westerly flow this afternoon, these winds pick up. Looks like we increase this fire production here across the Cascades. So if you downwind of this, you know, maybe Wenatchee just south of Chelan there on in through eastern Washington. Maybe Moses Lake will end up getting some of this as well. Um, you'll know where this forest fire smoke is coming for, but we should be drastically improving this air quality for western portions of Washington today as we go. The air quality was just putrid for a lot of the Puget Sound yesterday because of that Bolt Creek fire. You can see that got all the way down here towards SeaTac, and we are dealing with some pretty bad air quality. You can see how it's improved quite a bit here through this morning as we go with this onshore flow. Now, taking a look here, this is the 06Z European. This is 925 millibars, 2,500 feet. It's pretty close to what's going on at the surface. And you can see these strong winds through the east slopes of the Cascades of Washington and coming through the gorge here as well on through eastern Washington. Now, watch as we go on in through Saturday. As the system passes through, we start to turn this back offshore again. I know this is not what people in western Washington want to hear. This could also bring smoke as far down as Portland, Willamette Valley, off to the coast as well. And, of course, of course the Goat Rocks fire could still be active at that point as well. But we're... the big story there is we're going to turn these winds back offshore again it looks like later on in through saturday through sunday so heads up for that as we go through this weekend we warm up but we in turn bring that offshore flow back across the region look at these winds here in eastern washington and oregon kind of that easterly component as you see and this wind's being drawn all the way out across the ocean here so now looking at that upper level low, you can see that massive cold air at 10,000 feet, 700 millibars here finally kicks off. The system moves through BC, and then we rapidly rebuild a ridge in the wake of that system. That's just going to warm us back up and turn this flow a little bit back offshore as we go through this weekend into early next week. 
Now, taking a look at the precipitation with that upper level low, you can see some pretty good amounts falling this morning across eastern Washington, Idaho Panhandle, eastern, uh, western Montana here. Look at some of these totals, maybe up towards three inches locally out there. And you can see this next system kind of roll towards western Washington. Not much precipitation with it. Maybe some areas north of Vancouver Island with the best shot, but just a, a dampening of the ground it looks like right now with this very weak system and then we will dry out again as we build a ridge over the pacific northwest here as we go through this weekend now european on the left gfs on the right model comparison here and as we go through you can see upper level low kick through the pacific northwest we get the strong storm move up the east coast look at that pretty good model agreement on that now too but anyway back to the pacific northwest here goes this ridge starting to build here as we go through this week and pretty good model agreement there as you can see with this ridge building but now the gfs kind of shows the ridge a little bit weaker and a little bit further to the east here as we go through on to sunday evening european a little bit stronger with that ridge here but both of them kind of start to kick that off as we go through Monday off to the east. And now this is over Montana here, a little bit further west with the European. But then you can see this uh, troughing occurring over the Gulf of Alaska would quickly start to bring some more marine influence as we go on into Tuesday at least. And then by Wednesday, a stronger onshore flow would be continuing across the region. This ridge moves across the continent here. And you can see the fantasy hurricane out here across the the European and the GFS still showing this coming into the Gulf of Mexico. That would be no bueno here. So we'll watch that off into the extended as well with anybody having any concerns down there. You can see still some pretty good model disagreement on that. But anyway, you can see that troughing existing here for the Pacific Northwest as we go through the extended. Maybe a bit of a bounce back here. Then the Gulf of Alaska trough. Look at this on the extended of the European here. And the GFS kind of showing some troughing as well. Now, taking a look here, Seattle, Tacoma, we talked about that record high on the 26th of Monday being 78 degrees. Look at this, 80 degrees. Maybe we'll pick that all-time record high off there on Monday and get us up to 80 and fix that problem with September where we would then have all our record highs up into the 80s. But you can see pretty rapid cool down as we go towards Wednesday, much more towards average as we go through the extended here, which is kind of what the GFS and the European are showing at this point. But a couple warm days are coming up here and a pretty nice weekend, it looks like, in the wake of this very weak system moving through here on Friday. Now looking at Spokane, kind of the same thing. You can see the bump as we go through Wednesday. Then we start to head back down towards normal in the extended. Vancouver International, you can see the bump here as we go through Monday as well. Same thing here. You can see the weak system keeping those temperatures down here through Friday. Starting to bounce back Saturday though. Portland International, look at this. Portland pretty warm here as we go through this week and on in through Monday with a 90 degree day. Maybe not out of the question here. I'll show you something else here regarding that as far as probabilities here in a moment. Stick with me here. Then you can see back down to normal as we go through the extended. Here's Crater Lake Klamath Falls Regional Airport. This is basically Klamath Falls. You can see the bump in the heat and then the drop back down towards normal temperatures in the extended. Upper level low kicking out. So we start to rebound those temperatures Friday and Saturday as well. Well, now looking at Missoula International Airport, as we go through the evening today, you can see some of these precipitation totals. Look at these ensemble members, a lot of them up over an inch and not many dry ones in here. There's none at all, in fact. So at least several tenths of an inch, several tenths of inch rain. You can see the mean is right around an inch. The control just under an inch there. So nice rainmaker out there for Western Montana. You can see Seattle, Tacoma, almost no precipitation with this very weak frontal system moving through tomorrow then you can see this kind of mishmash of dry and some light precipitation and a few wetter systems embedded in here and they're extended just something we'll continue to watch i mean this is still a week out at this point now here we go uh fantasy windstorm forecast you got to kind of keep yourself entertained during these slow periods if we look at number 50 or 44 here sorry you can see some 50 plus mile per hour gusts did show up in the extended here so basically some of these ensembles are showing maybe a breezy system rolling through here, but this one would be very windy. here. Those are very strong winds up into the 50s. So what we can do here is we can go ahead and take a look at this. Look, I picked ensemble run number 44 from yesterday afternoon. So we put that into motion. Check out that low pressure approaching the Pacific Northwest and really a pretty good hit on the Puget Sound there. But again, this is just purely fantasy forecast for at this point, but this is just kind of showing you the kind of tools we have. We can look at these individual ensemble runs and just go ahead and, you know, 
kind of play around with it a little bit and just kind of watch at what some of these runs show. You can see that pretty tight pressure gradient along the Washington, Northern Oregon coast here as that would sweep through the Puget Sound. But again, this is purely entertainment at this point. And this is the same thing here. <clears throat> this would be October 4th, and you can kind of see that 500 millibars, 18,000 feet, that lobe of cold air kind of pass across in, through British Columbia, bringing that tight gradient across western Washington there. So purely fantasy forecast at this point. This is a 6 to 10 day heat index outlook here. This is for 90 degrees or greater, and you can see the zero line is right here, and it crosses about Spokane and then crosses just north of ever here. So like it shows for Seattle between September 27th and October 1st, about a 1% chance of a 90 degree day coming up. So we are, we are gonna be above average temperatures here, <clears throat> but you can see as far as 50-50 odds, you'd have to go down to Southern Texas, Florida, or Southern California out towards uh, Arizona there, maybe towards uh, Las Vegas for a 90 degree day. The 5% line crosses through Southern Oregon there. So very low odds for a 90 degree day overall, but the European did show you the uh, some upper 80s and towards 90 for Portland there. So something we'll watch, but just like to show you guys different uh, products sometimes. So this is a six to 10 day heat index outlook. So anyway, yeah, this system is finally kicking up and out of our region here. And in the wake of this week front that's going to move through the area, we're going to rebuild and really warm up this weekend. But again, with that offshore flow, we're going to continue to bring some smoke back into the western regions here. We'll see how bad it is around this time. Maybe they can make some headway on this Bolt Creek fire and start to suppress that a bit more. But, uh, you know... Uh, I don't know. It's it's pretty quick here. So I think we are going to start to bring some smoke back into the region here this weekend. And then we're going to go back down towards normal here through the extended. It looks like as we have some weak Gulf of Alaska trophy and maybe bring some weak systems nearby in the extended. But again, we have plenty of time to look at that for now. So Anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to have a nice weekend here. So if you're not in the smoke, get out and enjoy that because these are going to become more and more limited as we go through the future here. But anyway, hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Thanks for my new members who recently subscribed. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Click like, turn on your notifications. And I plan on working on the um, uh, Pacific Northwest Weather Watch store today. It's kind of just showed up on the YouTube page there. But I'm going to go ahead and put um, uh, organize it a little bit better. So anyway, we'll do this again tomorrow. We'll take a look at what kind of temperatures we can expect and we'll see what kind of smoke looks like it's going to get introduced back into Western Washington, Western Oregon, as well as we look to turn this flow back offshore again here through the weekend. So anyway, um, hope you guys are having a good day and I'll talk to you guys later.